May I now request uh, Dr. Dakshinamurthy, Dr. Arnachalam and Dr. Chaudapa to come over and take seats on the bench so that you can have a symposium on issuing a death certificate. Whichever one of you would like to start over, please start over and then we will go on as an interactive session. Dr. Ramachalam, kindly give the importance of the symposium and then you start with the hand over the mic and then we'll go on later. Dr. Ramachalam, actually, three months back at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, during my clinical activity, I got a call from a very senior person that uh, a local uh, police station inspector has uh, called him to inquire about the uh, issue of death certificate which he gave six or seven years back. And uh, the inspector ordered the doctor to come to the station by 10 p.m. And you know, it was a shivering voice and uh, it was very disturbing. I thought I will not send him alone and uh, I thought I will uh, suggest a lawyer to accompany him. And the problem was solved in a, in a safe way. Actually, nothing you remember. Seven years back, whom you gave the name, anything, can you remember? I don't know. Absolutely not. So, the inspector was commanding the scene for two days, and then he told the people put you on the witness side. The cases they handle like this. Either you be a if you are on the defendant side, then you and the accused side, then you will be put on the first accused or second accused. Do you know? Do you know that all death certificates what we issue will stand as a second accused? There are two cases of doctors who have been in prison for seven years in Tamil Valley. Uh, Dr. Venkatesh Brahmani, his name was. He issued a death certificate for a college lecturer, women lecturer of STC College. Third day, the college goes for strike along with all staffs. In the police enquiries, the doctor has given the certificate for a Christian pastor, the uh, Protestant preacher. The case was such, the lady dies, the doctor gives a certificate, believing the pastor comes and he is a learned person and the lecturer and everything. But the thing is, the same day, the cow of the cow which they were uh, growing in their home, that also died. And the neighbor informed the college, the means neighbor informed the teach students everything. And if the case was an attempted rape of a daughter-in-law of his own, and he defended it with the doctor's certificate and burial went on everything, the doctor was produced. After three years of case running over the court, the doctor was imprisoned for seven years and his license was cancelled. This I learned, I studied in the newspaper when I was a student itself. So it's one eye-opener. And now also after becoming now in North Madras, after seven years back, if you have read about English newspaper, there was a doctor, a young doctor, gave the death certificate. The girl was working in an export company, Panjayat, local Panjayat, but president, everyone, everyone came in and bombarded the doctor, he gave the certificate. Four days after they came to know it was a love affair and murder in the company and the doctor was also sued. So the issuing a death certificate is a very, very critical one, like our uh, uh, senior most member experienced uh, the sleepless nights. You know, the four or five days, how it is very horrible. But the day when they come, you we think uh, we have the help because where they will go post mortem, everything in Hindu mythology, everything comes. But be careful when before issuing the death certificate. I wish Dr. Dachnamuthi uh, uh, tells about uh, how to go about this pressure, how he went about. And I wish the audience also share their moments. Issuing a death certificate from two years back is different and now it is different. I always ask them to go for a postmortem. Go over it for me. I don't show any sympathy at all. Unless otherwise, patient is very well close known to me and if I know the family very well, then I may give something. Not knowing the family well, you should know the patient very well. Because the patient who has chronic illness like cancer, tuberculosis or any other disease, you know him personally and uh, a cardiac patient. 
uh, you will definitely know the cause of death. Uh, many times, if you know the family alone may not be sufficient. They may give a foul play and make you responsible for the uh, consequences. Best thing is, every doctor, uh, now these days we are seeing almost every autumn day I have to issue a death certificate. And the uh, patient's family and patients are very known to me. If I have seen the patient, then I will say yes. The patient is not known to me, not treated by me. Then you have to visit the place, enquire everything. Or if you don't want all these difficulties, go to hell. As in you do postmortem, take the, take the body to government hospital and do it. The difficulty is, local people will come. Most of them are your patients. Sometimes counsellors, sometimes even MLAs. They will come and best tell you to give the certificate. Many occasions I said no and I stuck to it. One case was, a young boy of 20 years, he hanged himself in his house. His father, father and mother came and approached for certificate in the first instance. They said, I know, I don't want to give. Because before that, I got the news from our own uh, staff members saying that he hanged himself. Then, the local councillors, all those people came in a big gang. So like that, it went on for one full day. The, then I was completely refusing. And then they started out somewhere, I think they have gone and uh, they have completed it. Similarly, sometimes, the patient will be brought to you after death, saying that suddenly, one case came to me long back, maybe 10 years back. The frothing was there, and there was an old man of around 60 years. Then he said, I don't want to give, and I escaped out and went out home. The evening I came to know, the police has taken the body for postman. It was a poisoning case. So it will be very uh, intricate, complex city. So much of things will be there. But you should be analyzing the patient. Sometimes they will get all the records of the patient, go through the records, ascertain yourself the real cause of death, then only can give. Suppose if you say you don't want to give, you may lose that family clients. That is enough. Not to the extent of going to the nightmare like this. You have every right to refuse. And if you want to be soft, kind, and uh, close to the patients, then you analyze the patient, uh, case history, cause of death. If you are completely sure of it, you can give it. Otherwise, better to refuse. What would be a general guideline? Yeah, that's what. Can you From the audience, I want to elicit this, this question. In, I think in the form itself, it is mentioned. What are all the guidelines, uh, what you call, laid down by MCA? Important, important thing is, you must be treated the patient at the final stage. Then you will know definitely, that's 100%. That is the one. Another thing, uh, you must be following every day, but, but the last moment was treated by somebody else. But still you know that cause of death. Cause of death, if you are sure about it, then that's the first guideline to give it. What should be the format of Six it? months, last six months of the patient's life should be treated by you. There is a column. From this date to this date, I have been treated. There is a column if you see the corporation form. So No, no, that is not six months. They have given a blank. No, no, that's a, but, but MCA gives guidelines. That is for corporation. For MCA gives guidelines at least for six months. With this basis, I refuse to sign anything. Sir, this is for form. I have to fill this date and this date. I never know in you. As a doctor, I can come and declare the death, but I cannot issue a certificate. Before I, I go for house visit, I, I put this condition. Uh, you do not know what, whether the patient is live or dead. I can come as a medical professional to help you out, to inform your relatives everything. But to issue a certificate, I cannot because I don't know any of you. One, the patient I do not know, I, I am not treated. By this way, I do two things. One is I develop my, what you call, house visits. Uh, the thing is... <laughs> The house is to be charged extra whenever in the lean period it gives extra money. So let them, hear, however big hospital you go, however big as consultant you see, but I am a nearby doctor. You should inform me who is sick in your uh, bed, in your uh, what you call home, so that I can help you out in an emergency or else I will ask my friends to come and see you. But not like this after, uh, whatever, after the death of the patient you come for a certificate and demand from me. You go to your doctor who has treated you and then get. So the, by this way, we can command in uh, what you call in our area, the patient to be informing us before the patient dies, one. So this is a laid down pharmacy, pharma and then the other uh, ethic way to 
charge the patient. Death certificate should not be issued with charges. You can visit, before, for that only I insist for last visits. Two, three visits you go on charge 500, even if offered will be 1000 rupees, nothing wrong. But on the day of death, please don't charge. Don't charge. Because the inspector asked the doctor, did you charge? So, even if you charge 50 rupees, it becomes that you have been taken something money for you issuing a certificate. If you say a policy, I don't charge for death certificates, then it is entirely different. Even if you are uh, very close to the patient, he came came and go, gone and you know everything, you want to give the certificate, please write down, stress the point. I come home and for that only I charge, not for the issue of certificate. In case, in case you, are, you want to charge, you can put this condition like that. I don't charge for issuing a death certificate, but for house visit I charge, like that. But the thing is, these two, uh, what you call ethics, uh, ethical code is laid on by the MC. Six months you would have treated and the thing is, uh, you should not charge for issuing a death certificate. The last thing is, uh, the, 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 the death, cause of the death, three columns are there. I think uh, Dr. Dashnamurthy and Dr. Saudapa and any learned uh, doctors can, uh, what you call, highlight how it should be filled. Immediate cause of the death. Uh, immediate cause of death, we have to mention the first column. And the cause of what can we write? That's Cardiac arrest. Oh, cardiac arrest, that's what yeah. we can say. Cardiac arrest. The next line indicates what are the diseases you are suffering from. Example, diabetes, cancer, tuberculosis, uh, CVS, cardiovascular disease, like that we have to mention. Yeah. The third one will be diseases. Second one is what, what uh, led to the cause of the death. Yeah, I think uh, there are complications, second one. Yeah. Third one is the disease itself. Immediate and yeah. yeah. And uh, issuing a death certificate doesn't end here. After completion of everything, if the person is middle aged or younger age, you'll be having a lot of policies and insurance schemes. There comes the headache. They'll give a very big form for you to fill up. LSA gives a very big two pages form where every question is asked. Supposing you cannot treat the patient, you have to lie everything in the same manner. Lie, 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 thousand lies you have to do. So, must be very careful in doing that. So, without doing a disease, and the question will be very intriguing. Same question will come in three forms. Everyone will be like a manipulated one. And you will come, you'll come number of times to the uh, Same thing. And in the post also it comes. So, it will be a torture for a long duration. Generally, when you are before giving it that certificate, whether he has got a bank account, that is the most important thing. And bank fellows also will threaten you. Sir. Nowadays we feel so tensed up. We, we, we really literally we are shivering to go for house visits. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Especially yes, sir. when you go there, patient calls, sir, case bad happened to the park. When you go there, he's dead. He say, I don't know him. You go to your doctor, family doctor, drink certain says, I do not know what to do. I And the crowd comes and harasses you. Cases behind your cell phone. And some counselor, local counselor, all these people behind the screen diagram. What we do is on writing. This is a real torture for doctors. How to escape? This is number one. Number two, a uh, casual medical officer admits a case. It goes to IMC. By the time day it goes, sister calls the house and says, We see almost gasping. The latest history, okay, somebody brings the neighbor right. We don't know, case dies. We have to make emergency. Even CMO writes as PUO, APD, this one, we have to make emergency because tomorrow it turns out to be anything else. So, we have so many problems in dealing with bad cases and issuing death certificates. I have been drive transport for so long years and suffered a lot. Really dejected the, the behavior of the public. Behavior of the public. And uh, I attended one IMA at, uh, I think at Palm Grove, I am not sure. I am meeting a Vijayan advocate. The auditor, no? yeah. he gave. He, he gave a long lecture for doctors and consumer forum. Doctors and consumer forum. One lady doctor practicing that literally came crying, oh doctor save me, I am a problem. She had issued a certificate, that certificate. 
two, two young people, brothers came to her to see the mother. And she saw, so gasping almost like, and the car showed hypertension, diabetes, old age, not that old, 95, some 60 to 70. She came home, those brothers respectfully brought her home, Madam, certificate for it. They gave that certificate. And they gave peace. No, 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 I don't take peace. But no, no, you keep, keep. I know what happened. These two brothers, the elder one wanted money. The younger one also wanted money. The property's mother, something happened. Some uh, sharing of property, two cats. Santa put in a coronator coaching. Coronator, how did you stay? Like that, went to the, the, the husband of sister. The brother's sister came to know. She informed his wife. She went to police commissioner, case, and doctor was made like this. And that week, and the police fellows tortured her, and that week, and tortured Every time she is here, clack, 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 clack. And they said, why oh, you gave money? Giving money means you are... So you are not a man. So all this is a problem. So never pity. Now, even if it is late, distant relatives don't pity. Hmm? Don't give certificates. In foreign countries, they have a family physician. The family physician, he is the one who attends to, he is the one who issues certificates. There. Otherwise, every death case goes for post-mortem. In surgical unit, I work with Pastor Adhavar Shipsin, uh, operative death, any death, he says, I like to have a post-mortem. He, we also operate death. What's wrong? We used to do post-mortem, post-operative death. It's a non-emergency case, it's not a staff injury. So like that, we have to encourage, educate the society of the need of post-mortem to save themselves. Even the close relatives may complain against the innocent son. You only kill for the sake of money. Okay, thank you. Sorry, sir. No, sir. Sir, sir, the panel members suggested in the death certificate, many of the senior doctors also I have seen as cardiac arrest. Now, that is not a complete uh, diagnosis of the patient. You have to say that he is a patient who is suffering from diabetes, hypertension, and following which, which is a sequelae which is caused as a cerebrovascular accident or anything like that. But many of them write just a sentence, cardiac arrest. It can be due to anything. So that's number one. I had two interesting experiences. Today morning I saw an Australian, an Ari, who is a neighbor to me, 83 year old man. About 10 years back, as Dr. Dakshanamurthy told, 20 years back I used to give death certificate just like that. 10 years back while he was traveling in a train, he was visiting some various places, Australia, with his wife. The wife died in the train itself. Now, those days, about 10 years back, the SRMC used to have an outpatient counter there. Those doctors told, your wife is dead, kindly take her home, get a death certificate from a nearby doctor to prevent postmark. Now, the body has been brought from the station, and I have been asked by the neighbor requesting me, it's a genuine case doctor, please you know us very well, please give us a certificate. About 10 years back I didn't know the consequences, now I retrospectively think if something has happened, if it's a murder or something, I would have been into jail. The other case which was a mentally ill patient was admitted in public health center, he ran out of the hospital, he went and jumped into the uh, Kuom river and committed suicide. His uh, brother is a judge in a Sessions uh, court. Now his wife has brought two policies, the same problem of life insurance. The judge is requesting me, please do not mention mental illness because the insurance is not going to give me. But he has got records of 10 years of prescriptions of mine that he has been treated for bipolar mood disorder. <coughs> it's a very tricky situation. So you have to be very careful in issuing that certificate. So my, my uh, uh, question to audience is, if you visit a patient's home or a dead person's home, are you liable if you don't inform police if you don't want to give the certificate? That's a short, short, short. So please sit in your, it is not necessary. Sir, please sit in your place and talk because the video cannot follow you. Everywhere. Yeah, it, it is not necessary. We need not inform the police. We were, we were called by the attenders. Just came up. Sir, anybody comes and asks you, oh. yes, they call me, I refuse. I told them you have to in take case the body of, to the hospital, have post mortem done, and uh, have the certificate. In case of MLC death? MLC death? Uh, no. yes, See, sir. you suspect, 
there is there can be a, what we call suffocating death or a suicide attempt or a hanging. You, you get into trouble. They will call you for witness. But but according to law, we are supposed to inform. If you don't inform, you are hiding a death uh, information. That you should know. In case I recently had been to a very popular person's home in the early morning, and I saw the mouth was the tongue was outside the mouth, and I told him. Yeah, now they were uh, ready to go to a hospital like well, that will be everything. Okay. You are a popular person. You see to that everything is done, but I will not issue a certificate and I washed up. So, but I came out, but I know very well, tomorrow if anything comes, the doctor has visited, if it comes, I can say I have not seen anything else except the death. I can escape. But usually we are supposed to inform police that we should know. We, we cannot go like Kushko was trying to land in what we call uh, criminal things like uh, she has seen some girl was raped in a hotel and she did not reveal at that time after 10 days she goes on telling, telling into the TV show she was asked why she did she hide the criminal even as a witness did not reveal to the press or police so like that we are also bound to inform police this is one way we can avoid from all scrambles in your clinic if they are troubling you just call the police and finish it up you can say to them face to face, if you are not moving out from my clinical practice now, I am going to call the police, let the police say, I let me issue the certificate, I will issue. Let the police say, I am concluding. The last one is, I have some more. Yeah. yeah, because it is a very interesting topic and that we need to know. The last one is, the policeman whom I informed about the doctor, what are the certificates you have? How many of you have sir, any proof for the issue of certificate? After the incident, what I have seen, now I create a certificate, issue of death certificate. The issue of death certificate, he should go on, give me a copy first. And whomever come for receiving the certificate, they should sign a letter that this is so and so, and we are so and so, the patient is suffering everything, they have to write in a letter, and all their relative and neighbors have to sign. This is, this is one way you can push out your uh, VAPs from your clinic. Let them all sign. If they are coming with sign, signature letter, ask them to wait and call the police and finish it up. Don't worry about anything. But before that, you can ask the every VIP who comes and calls you, ask them to give a letter individually from their own letter pad and then they will vanish. You can reduce the pressure from them. This is one way of my interpretation how to you go out of it. But at the end of it, if the crowd is more and you cannot be able to manage, as sir says, we can call the police always. Just inform 100. And in fact, my clinic is surrounded by the people who is uh, demanding a death certificate where I have not seen the area of the dead person's home is enough. You don't need to reveal the doctor's name. Uh, I will narrate the incident, but let's have no discussion of that. 1967, I joined MD in Guntur Medical College, three year course. The first time they introduced a three year course. Dr. Ramara was a casualty medical officer. I was a postgraduate in uh, Unit 1. I was covering the DAP duty as usually they go for practice and as a postgraduate they are well done. Also learning them. A good looking young lady and her mother and a man was brought to the casualty. The Ramara said, all right, extensive pulmonary tuberculosis records is there. Every record is there for three years treated for multi-tuberculosis tuberculosis. When the patient was being shifted from the trolley to the death and going back, I saw a linear streak of blood in the patient. In my enthusiasm, as opposed to that, you know, younger age where blood is hot, I told Ram Rao there's a blood stain on the Ram Rao informed the police. So you want they have clubbed the man to death so that the girl will marry again and start her life. Then I forgot because I was not involved from Ram the place. Gentlemen, it happened in 1967. 1985, prior to my wife's arrival from abroad, two good ladies came to me, clinic searching at Jambulingham Street, Numa bathroom, and said, Sir, you should come and bless the marriage of my daughter. They said, That day you pointed out the death. Today you bless the marriage bless the life. I cannot forget that incident. Of course, I lost contact with them. Just by the way, some experiences. Not only death certificate, don't give age certificate, similarly community certificate. 
ताज़ा रिंग सिटिंग डॉक्टर टेकिंग कम्युनिटी सिटिंग ड्रोन क्यों कम्युनिटी सिटिंग कम्युनिटी मिटेर ओनली कम्युनिटी मिटेर एज था नहीं बादों क्या करना एज ये टेर आदि कम्युनिटी सेविक लोग हैं एक रेडल जिंग लेव रेडल फॉर अडॉप्टेड पर्पस दे कम तो डॉक्टर्स अगर चाइल्ड इस दिस से देख वी कैन स्क्रीन I am summarize what has been said so far. Kindly correct me as necessary. Issuing death certificate is a dicey situation. Either you have to know the patient for six months till the time of death, and preferably you have to know the family, or you have to know the family extremely well, and all case records of the patient are available for you to go through, and there is no pressure on the other side on you. Then you can attempt to give a death certificate. Now, death certificate, there is a standard pro forma or manner in which it has to be given. The doctors have told you how to give it. Is there a corporation form? Oh, form has right. to be. There are two forms. One is death in the hospital. We are in form death at residence. Now, I think we are more concerned with death at residence. Yes, yes. yes. Death in hospital, you will have all the necessary forms, the MLC sheet, and people to help you. So, in in case you have a death in residence, there is a specific format in which you have to fill up, and this has to be done provided there is no pressure on you, and provided all the medical records are available for your perusal. Now, if there is a doubt that you feel that this may not be a natural death, or you don't know the person, even if it is a natural death, it is easier, as Dr. Arnajaram says, to call 100, report to the police officer that this request has come to you, or call action committee, or call action committee. Now, the easier method that Dr. Arnachalam said is that to ask the people who have come for the death certificate to give individual letters. Even if these people are local big people or VIPs, ask them to give individual letters. Ask all the neighbors and their relatives to sign, saying that this is a cause of natural death. Keep the copies, give a death certificate, take a copy of the death certificate and go to the police and inform them. No, if it's necessary. If, if it is necessary. You are going to give it, you have decided, then give it with the certificate. Is there anything else to add? Actually, manage the situation. I had a. Sorry. The doctor said that it's still all deaths. Supposing the patient is not sick, if you are not seeing the patient, no doctor is seeing the patient, is it necessary? We so, need not issue a certificate whom we do not know, whom we do not know that. So is it necessary for the patient to. Yes, yes, yes. As far as I don't know, death has to be declared. You say there are two forms. One, the patient is sick, you are treated, so the doctor is treated. No illness, patient lies at home, the relatives are there, it's another form. Can Previously, we can give a death letter, death certificate as a letter. Now, no, no, in Bali ground itself, they accept only the forms, corporation forms. So, in the cover. Study is always necessary for any. Yes, yes, sir. It's a matter. Sir, I live in a multi storied flat. I have issued death certificates to my neighbors old mothers, fathers in a letter format till about three years ago. There were no problems. Since the past two and a half to three years, they do not accept a letter. In fact, when my own sister-in-law's kid died and I gave a letter, they refused to accept it. We took the child to the corporation hospital. I said that I am one of the doctors treating. I explained to them, explained the nature of things. I had to give a letter requesting for a death certificate. Then it was given and then we went to the burial ground. In burial ground, you cannot bury or you cannot cremate any body without a doctor's certificate or a post-mortem certificate. These two certificates are very essential. Without that, the burial ground is not supposed to uh, do the, uh, what you call, uh, last rites. So, you should always keep in mind, our certificate or PM certificate. Without that, he cannot cremate. They days have gone. Because you have seen in so many cases, just go and bury, uh, burn the body there and they go and fill and they burn the body in the what you call graveyard and go. Without, uh, Mr. Dollar's case is like the same. Now, last to conclude, I, I, there was a case, uh, one person who was staying in a company, the company MD comes, the boy is uh, died in the hospital and sir, please issue a certificate I can take to Pandicherry. I told what man, you are joking. Today, the family will come and accept everything. Tomorrow they will come and ask you first, you have murdered my son, give me a compensation of 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs and you will be put in the, uh, in the soup, you, do you, do you understand that? Then the man, the man accepted my logic and he took himself to the body, to the uh, post-mortem. So always uh, exploit the situation wherever the people come. The people may come without knowing what is it. You have to put them 
in a narrator story like that, and then they have to give them an excuse why they should do that. Probably, as you said, the people who come without knowing the, uh, the cause of death will be very little. The people who know all the causes and they want to hide the things like uh, murder or suicide or those things, you know, they come and pester us for certificates. That is what. The last thing is, I go back to the first story where I started. The police came to the doctor's door by incidentally inquiring an accused whom they have got on the road, uh, what we call checkups. When they beat up for something, police find up many answers to the past uh, crime only by incidental approval of uh, your accused. So the accused have told uh, three or five, five or ten years back we have murdered one and then five years back we have murdered one, that those, those history. In that history only this uh, first death for our uh, what you call member who issued a certificate. So the policeman asked, did you see the patient? Did you see the dead body? When the doctors told her, yes, he categorically told, never, it was a murder, you have not seen. So please keep in mind, if at all it is old also, sometimes, as the doctor has mentioned, inside the property disputes, even the elderly people can be smothered with the pillow at home and declared as a dead, and you can issue it as a certificate. Please go to the home before issuing a death certificate. See the marks around the body. If you are not having time, deny it once for all. If you don't examine the body before giving a certificate, you will be always in soup. And you have now after say, telling everything, you have copies of the certificate. Please behind the copy of the certificate narrate. But what time you went, what you have seen, everything you narrate there. So that you will, you will have after 10 years also, if, uh, even if a uh, court judge asks, you can just produce a paper and forget about it. Please make note. This, I think, even I don't have a copy of my prescription, but I have a certificate, copy of a death certificate. Please make it a note. This is what my humble request to all of you members. Carry home messages is the same. Certificate, issue a certificate, copy of the certificate, letter from neighbors, even for normal deaths, please ask the letters, whoever are come to take the letters, and neighbor VAP personality you can take along with. You can go and ask the teacher because I do not know I was not the person, I was not certain when the person died. So in the in the street there is a uh, what you call policeman or any what you call uh, headmaster, school authorities, engineers, government, and you can ask them to get a signature from them also. You can put it in the paper. Because they can easily ask from us. Let the people go there and ask them also. Tomorrow you can pull everyone to the court. So many people are given, so many learned people are given. This is a small defense for us. That's a good idea. So you keep all these papers along with your visit to the dead body. With this, yes. I, I will ask one question. What will you do when a patient is brought to your clinic? They are waiting to see you and patient dies. I have had two instances. Both the instances I shifted to KMC for postmortem. But what will you do? It's a tricky situation. I won't certificate death at all. I will say it's still the BPT is there. Take it to some other hospital. Yeah, no, here also, Pashnamurthy also will do some other thing, if known patient, if already a sick patient. Known patient is that? No, already, if they, you are treating the patient for past 10 years. When I know the patients, I take yeah, that is what. That is what a family patient. Just I stand by, stand by them even the court calls you. That is nothing. But the thing is, you should know, ascertain the facts. In the clinic means, now nah, I think you can see the body and everything you can certify. No, but unknown patient who comes and dies, Never. all for postmortem, nothing wrong. We, we are not doing any harm to him or to the society. We are saving ourselves and the man's family. Forever they will say, and the clinic pona, bhrudita, urhusi patangla, enna patangla, teri other people. Ella bhrudita chullam. So it's better to have a PM just to be uh, away from your criticalities. Also, you know the persons who are the other patients are waiting there in the clinic. Yeah. So that you can sign. So even if you know the family and also you know the patient, it's nowadays it's really very tricky because youngsters they want to get rid of the old the elders. Yeah. They are also behind the property and other things. You never know. Still, you are taking a small risk because you know the family in your system. Apart from this, I just want to say something about death notification. If your pregnant woman dies at home or hospital. We have to implement the corporation or otherwise the police within one hour. The whole group should arrive within four hours and the whole conclusion should be taken within 24 hours. This is the latest come from corporation. This number two, if a female child dies at birth or 
before she gets discharged in the hospital, the child dies, we have to intimate. Because they think that we are, purposely we are killing the female child. Yeah. With this we conclude the session. Thank you very much. I, I request members to come forward all your doubts like this general discussion because we have learned uh, general practitioners who are uh, practicing for so many years. We can give our suggestion or discussion. We give our uh, what you call way to escape from our nobles. Thank you very much.